Welcome to this video. Today, you're going to learn the difference between have no plus noun and don't have plus noun. Of course, I'm Jennifer from jforestenglish.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you sound like a fluent, confident, natural English speaker. Now, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now, let's dive in with this video. Today, you're going to learn the difference between have, no, and don't have. So let me give you an example sentence. I have no time. I don't have any time. Now, both of these examples have the exact same meaning. We're talking about the existence of time and we're making it negative. So we're saying it doesn't exist in this specific situation. Now, when you look at the sentences, you'll notice that the grammar, the sentence structure is very different. The standard way to form a negative is simply to use the second one. I don't have any time. That's probably the one that you're most comfortable with. Now, I get questions a lot from students because they hear from native speakers on TV, movies, or outside of the classroom, they hear native speakers forming negatives with have, no, and saying, I have no time. And they're confused by the grammar. So let's make this nice and easy for you. So remember, the meaning is the same. We use have, no, plus the noun when we're talking about desires, emotions, attitudes, and concepts. So you can think of time as a concept. But let me give you another example with a desire or an emotion or maybe even an attitude. I could say, my boss has no patience. My boss has no patience. Now remember, have, no, of course our verb is have, we need to conjugate it with the subject. So here, my subject is my boss, third person singular, so I need has. My boss has no patience. I could also say my boss has no idea, that would be a concept. My boss has no right, a concept. My boss has no confidence, that could be an attitude or an emotion. So other common things, you could use happiness, peace, joy, any sort of skill as well. So in that category of nouns, we can use the structure have, no. Now we use our standard structure, don't have, plus a physical noun. So anything like pens, paper, scissors, a computer, a phone, all of these are physical nouns. They're not concepts, they're not emotions, they're not desires, they're physical. So we can use this structure and I would simply say, I don't have a pen, I don't have scissors, I don't have paper, right? Now, of course, we can absolutely use don't have with the concepts, the desires, the emotions. My boss doesn't have any patience. That's absolutely correct. So remember that don't have is the standard way to form a negative sentence and have no is an alternative way that's only used in specific situations. So the one specific situation is when we're talking about desires, concepts, emotions, and attitudes. Now, another time when we can use have no and the noun is we want to emphasize it. We want to make it a lot stronger of a statement. So I can use money as an example. Now money is a physical possession. I can feel it. I can see it. Not like patience, which I can't see. I can't feel. It's just a concept or an attitude, but money, I can feel it. I can touch it. It's physical. To emphasize the statement, to make it more dramatic, I could use have, no, and a physical possession. So I could say, I have no money, which emphasizes it. It makes it stronger than saying, I don't have any money. I have no money. 
So you might hear statements like this when you really want to emphasize that you don't have it. Now, although you can use have no with physical nouns, you know, you have to think, is it common to emphasize that you don't have a pen? Like, would it be common to say, I have no pens? I mean, I guess depending on context, it could be acceptable to emphasize that you don't have a pen, but really it's not something that you emphasize, that you make more dramatic. So just keep in mind that the standard structure is don't have and your noun, but we can use have, no, and a noun. We use it in two specific situations. We commonly use it with concepts, feelings, emotions, desires, or attitudes, and then we can use it with physical nouns when we want to emphasize that physical noun. So now it's your turn to practice. I want you to leave three sentences. One, using have, no, and a desire, an attitude, or a concept. Another one, just using your simple don't have and a physical noun. And your third one, I want you to use have, no, and a physical noun, but a physical noun that you want to emphasize. So choose that noun carefully, because remember, would I really emphasize that I have no chapstick, for example? So think carefully about which physical noun you want to use and make sure it makes sense to emphasize that you don't have it. So leave those in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe. Now before you go, make sure you head on over to my website, jfortisenglish.com, and download your free speaking guide. In this guide, I share six tips on how to speak English fluently and confidently. And until next time, happy studying. All right, awesome job learning this alternative structure that native speakers really love to use, but on very specific situations. So make sure you practice, leave those examples in the comments below, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.